And now, cooking with Auntie Maria Lonnie. Aloha. This is Auntie Maria Lonnie. And will you stop that whistling? It's driving me nuts. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Maria Lonnie. And welcome to Auntie Maria Lonnie's Cooking Hour. Today, we're going to learn how to make a very, very special and exotic dish with chicken. It's called Chicken a la Wanda de Cuesto de Porta e Mauna Kea. And it serves 8 to 10 people or 1, depending, of course, upon their appetite. Now, what you're going to need is these ingredients. Chicken, celery, potatoes, and wine. Now you must make sure that your wine is not too sweet, not too rancid, but just right. Okay, let's check the wine. Not too sweet. Oh, not too rancid. Oh, it's just right. And now we're ready to begin. Now, take out your chicken and gently massage its breast. Making sure that your wine is not too sweet, mm -mm. not too rancid, oh no, not rancid, <coughs> it's just right. Okay, now, butterfly your chicken and remember that your wine must not be too sweet, no it's not sweet, <coughs> not too rancid. No, it's not rancid. Now, let's make sure it's just right. Just right. Okay, now, place your chicken on a greased pan, making sure that your wine is not too sweet. Mm -mm. Not too rancid. Mm -mm. And just right. Now put your chicken in the oven, making sure that your wine is not too sweet. Oh, wait a minute, we forgot something. Step four, you've got to pour your chicken over the wine. Oh, no more wine. We've got to start with another bottle. So get another bottle out and open it up. There we go. Now, since it's a new bottle, you have to make sure that the wine is not too sweet, not too rancid. But just right. Mm. Uh oh, it's that sweet. Mm -mm. He's not rested either. That's it. Oh, it's just right. Oh, key. You, key. Mm. I smell something burning. My chicken! Oh. <laughs> Burn well! We'll call this one Burn Chicken or La Morto La Cuesta del Porto. <laughs> but you've always got to remember that your wine has got to be not too sweet. Um. Oh, and not too rancid. But just right. And I'm going to be 